In November 2019, Alsco New Zealand and Sea Electric unveiled the country's first heavy EV freighter. Based on a Hino 500 and fitted with C's C-Drive 180B powertrain, as it would turn out, you could sum up the vehicle's next two years in three words, steep learning curve. However, as with everything in life, such curves are necessary for success. It's a situation that the wider automotive world is quickly coming to terms with. Rapid change is taking place as the industry moves towards reducing its use and reliance on fossil fuels. But when it comes to trucking, there's not much out there that's better suited to fueling the industry other than diesel. And while the latest generation of diesel burners are cleaner, there's plenty of scope to start feeding in alternatives when the opportunities present. A company such as Alsco is an ideal candidate for finding and creating those opportunities. The company has serious goals in place for reducing its environmental impact, including replacing 30% of its fleet with EVs by 2030. It understands the need to start early, and it was in 2018 where the relationship with C was put on the table, and a call was made to find branches that could compile a business case to implement a heavy electric freight truck within the fleet and apply for the partial funding via ECA, the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Authority Administered Low Emissions Vehicles Contestable Fund. Alsco New Zealand Fleet Manager and Rotorua Branch Manager Mike Compton figured that he could make an electric freighter work on the regular daily run of Rotorua to Taupoi return in the morning and Rotorua to Tauranga return in the afternoon. Mike drove the project from the operational perspective. Gavin Smith, Alsco's Business and Product Development Manager, drove the environmental impact benefits with long-standing Alsco driver Craig Christensen driving it from the driver's seat. We knew the truck in theory had a 220 kilometre range, however we needed 280 kilometres of range per day. We believed we could run it to Taupo, charge it for an hour while we unloaded and reloaded, drive it back to Rotorua, charge it for another two hours while we unloaded and reloaded for Tauranga, head to Tauranga and top it up again, and then while there for an hour or so, charge it up before returning home, Mike explained. That was the initial theory, but as the team would find out, it would take some compromise to make it work in practice. paper everything looked like it should stack up. It was time to hit the road and put those electrons to work. However, Craig and Mike soon realised their expectations would require more compromise than expected. Two main issues needed to be overcome, charging and overheating. Unfortunately, we never got the charge rate that was expected, so we had to look at infrastructure. And although range was quoted at 220 kilometres, usable range was about 190 kilometres, at which point the truck derates itself to protect the battery, said Mike. Alsco was, and fair to say, still is very much a guinea pig as far as running a full-size electric truck in New Zealand is concerned. More than two years later, this remains the biggest heavy EV on local roads in terms of both dimension and range. As such, it is fitted with the C-Drive 180B powertrain, designed for trucks with a GVM range of 18 tonne to 26 tonne. It consists of a 216 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery, permanent magnet motor with 225 kilowatt continuous power, 350 kilowatt maximum power, and 3,500 newton meters of maximum torque. Solving this issue was a prime example of partnership in action. C added the second charging module to the truck, and Alsco picked up the bill to install four additional wall box chargers at Rotorua, as well as each depot. Craig also came to the party and agreed to split shift with a four hour break between the runs to allow the truck to cool down fully and charge back up to 100%. The overheating problem was perhaps one unforeseen by either party. C had had success with start-stop operations, but we run the truck at open road speeds all the time, and that's not great for an electric motor, says Mike. Action motor bodies adapted the skirts on the right-hand side of the body to allow for more airflow, and C set out to boost the reliability and ensure that if the truck was about to fail, the driver would have advance warning. Mike went on to explain. At first, the truck would just stop. That was it. We had a few failures and we could hear the shake in Craig's voice, and as a responsible company, we said that cannot happen. The truck cannot just shut down. C acknowledged that and they had to re-engineer it to give the driver more time to react in the event of an imminent system shutdown. So a system failure warning buzzer was added and the power steering was hooked up to a fail-safe mechanism, this giving 40 seconds on the 24 volt system to get the truck safely to the side of the road. Gavin went on to explain, It's not a matter of getting the diesel mechanic out to the side of the road, it's about plugging it into a laptop, purely IT stuff. 20 or 30 years ago, we could probably have gone out and got the truck running again ourselves. These days, it's all about data resolution. We were sort of at prototype level at the time of introduction, and knowing that, we sought the support of the ECA LEVCF. 
As early adopters, we knew there would be hiccups along the way. And today, we still call it a trial, Mike said. With a touch over 66,000 kilometres of solid trial and error behind it now, this truck is still very much a test bed for both Alsco and Sea Electric. The learning curve at times has been sharp. However, it's all about getting it right for Alsco's application, something that Sea have been committed to right from concept. After all, when diesel is truly done, and what we currently consider alternative propulsion has become the norm, cherry picking routes, driver's schedules, or loads to suit the truck won't be an option. They will have to work all the time, every time, just like diesel does now. Working on perfecting those details now is paramount. To catch the full story on the Alsco Sea Electric Hino 500 Series Electric Freighter, then grab yourself a copy of the May 2022 issue of New Zealand Trucking Magazine on sale now.